Hello, hello, food students. Whether you're in a pro start, foods two or foods one, you might be watching this. Um, this is Machine Man. I'm from Sun Prairie High School. And I'm gonna start talking about knife safety today. Um, a chef's best friend is a sharp knife. So I have a sharpened, um, very nice Forschner brand, and it is um, also a forged knife. We'll talk about that when you're in pro start. As you can see, this blade goes all the way through to the handle, and there's a nice bolster here that is really nice for handling. So um, this is my best friend and I want it to be sharp. So I'm gonna go over the safety guidelines as you are seeing them um, on your worksheet or um, maybe your teacher is going to give you this worksheet, but you're probably gonna be following along with a list of safety guidelines as I go through them. So first and foremost, you want your knife to be sharp. If it's dull, you're gonna have trouble pushing down and then like your potato might be moving around because you're trying to push down so hard and that's when maybe it slips and you end up cutting yourself. So that's why you really want a sharp knife. Then you're able to hold that potato, for example, and it's gonna slice right through nice and easy. So that's really important. Um, really important too, when you're not actually using your knife, put it down. So let's say I need to go get tomatoes from over on the counter. I don't wanna walk through the kitchen with my knife. I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna put it down. We're gonna talk about if you do need to walk through the kitchen, we'll talk about that later. But when your knife is not in use, put it down, otherwise you might cut somebody or drop it and hurt your foot, for example. You're also gonna wanna use a cutting board. Um, not only does it save the cutting edge or the blade of your knife, because you don't want it on the counter, that'll make it dull. Um, it also saves your countertops, because if you were cutting without a cutting board, you're gonna end up with little cuts in your countertop, and that's no good. Something to know for cutting boards, there are usually three different colored cutting boards in a food service environment. Um, there's a white one, a green one, and a red one. Um, the red one is specifically for meats, so there you go. The green one is specifically for produce, fresh fruits and veggies. The white one is more of a miscellaneous one. So thing, I know these are stained a little bit. Um, I've used these for cutting dough, pasta, um, and cheese. So those are like the miscellaneous things you might use for that. Also, um, when you return here, or if, if you're actually in cooking labs face to face, every lab has a cutting board that's like this, and it doesn't have this nice rubber um, edging that these have, these won't slide around on you on the counter. These will slide around. So I've already dampened a towel. So you can't tell in the video, but this is a dampened towel. I got it wet, I wring it out. And you're gonna wanna put that down on your counter and then put your cutting board there. So now it's not gonna slide, all right? Next thing, don't ever cut towards yourself. So if I'm cutting a big watermelon or something, I don't wanna be cutting towards myself at all. Um, if I'm cutting through a tomato, just never cut towards yourself. Always you're cutting away, whether it's an angle or um, downwards is usually where the, the uh, direction you're gonna wanna cut. Um, if a knife drops, let it fall and back up. Um, people's instinct is to catch the knife. Don't do that. Just back up, let it fall. Okay, you don't want it to cut your toe. Um, you can always replace a knife and you just don't want to get hurt. Um, washing your knife properly. So this is the cutting edge of the knife. This is the spine of the knife. So this is not the sharp side. It's not going to cut you. So when you are at the sink washing, you wanna wash it from the spine side of the knife so you don't cut yourself or the washcloth. Um, so do that, oh, there's a bell, good morning. <laughs> um, and also don't drop it in soapy water. I wanna see if I can grab this camera stand and bring you with me over to the sink. I have a I have soapy water in there. If I drop this in there, can you see that knife in there? No. So if I'm working in my lab group and my friend is going to do dishes and reaches their hand in there to grab, I don't know, they think they might be grabbing a cup or a bowl, 
and they take that big grasp, they're going to grab right onto the knife and cut themselves really badly. So we never drop a knife in soapy water, okay? What I usually tell my students to do in our lab is instead of putting it in the soapy water, um, it'll be a better example over at this sink. Instead of putting it in the soapy water, I tell students to just put it blade backwards behind the faucet. That way we all know that's a dirty knife and we can avoid getting cut, okay? All right, so that's that. All right, carrying a knife. Oh, I should have just showed you that because I was actually carrying the knife. So when you carry a knife, if you need to ever carry it across the classroom, which in my classroom, I always run my knives um, this way. You're gonna get a tray of knives with five knives in it, and you'll have two chef's knives in there, so two of these. You'll have two of the small paring knives and one of these utility knives. So the utility knife is just a little bit longer than the paring knife. Um, but if you did need to carry your knife through the kitchen, let's say you're going from one area of the counter to the sink, you know, to put it behind the faucet for it to be washed, you need to walk. The point or the tip needs to be facing down. The blade or cutting edge should be facing behind you. And um, yeah, you walk. So walk, tip down, blade backwards, all right? So make sure you know those rules. When you are walking around with a knife, which shouldn't be often, right? When you're not using it, put it down. Um, but when you do have to walk, let's say from an area of the counter over to the sink, um, or you've cleaned the knife and you're taking it from the sink area back over to the nice bin or wherever you're storing your knife, you are going to want to yell sharp out to your classmates or to your group. That way they know you're coming through with a sharp knife and they should watch out, okay? So when you're in labs, cooking labs, I expect to hear you say sharp if you have to maneuver around your kitchen lab with a sharp knife. Um, if I asked you, how do you pass a knife to somebody when you're in your cooking lab? Many of you might say, oh, here, have the knife like that, right? Actually, the best way and the only way you're supposed to pass a knife is to put it down and then let your classmate or your lab partner pick it up. So some people don't know that one. Storing a knife. You should never store this right in with your utensil drawer because it's just like the soapy water in a way. You go in to reach for a fork and oop, now I've cut myself on a sharp knife. Um, these should usually have a um, wooden block. So maybe at home you have a wooden block where all your knives, they get stuck in a certain slot. Um, you might have a knife guard. Let me grab one really quick. I should have had that ahead of time. My apologies. Um, we have some knife guards that look like this. So what you want to do too when you put these on, I saw somebody once they thought they put the knife guard on and they went like that and cut themselves. You want to make sure you Start like that and slide that right in there. And that's a knife guard. So you might use a knife guard for storage, um, a wooden block. And in my classroom, I use a tray and um, we just keep these all in a locked cabinet. So that would be something um, that's gonna be on your knife safety test is that we lock these knives up in a locked cabinet. All right. So I hope you know the do's and don'ts of knives. Um, again, sharp knife. If you're not using it, put it down. You're gonna always wanna use a cutting board. Cut away from yourself. If it drops, let it fall back up. Um, do not drop it in soapy water. Make sure you wash it from the spine side of the knife. When you're carrying it, the point should be down, the cutting edge or blade should be backwards and you're walking. When you're maneuvering around with a knife, you need to yell sharp to anybody else around you so they know you're coming through. The safest way to pass a knife is to put it down and let your lab partner pick it up. And then safe storage is making sure you don't store it with your other utensils. You would want a knife guard or one of those wooden blocks um, for the best ideal um, storage, okay? I hope you enjoyed my video and have a wonderful day.